welcome to this section on cold war and india in this section we will learn how did india operate during the cold war era because india was not part of any of the superpower blocks or the alliances india has been a non aligned nation so let us see here why did india did not prefer to join any specific alliance because it was a special precaution what india took india decided to have a passive approach in its policy there was a policy of retreat and what is india's interest in staying away from the two superpower blocks what is the special precaution India's response to the ongoing cold war was a twofold because as a leader of the non-aligned movement it took special precaution to avoid the two alliances on one level they don't want to be a part of an alliance so that you can live by your policy of non-alignment this is a special precaution what india has taken so coming to the policy stand second important aspect that is it spoke out against the inclusion of the newly decolonized countries in these alliances india firmly spoke against the inclusion the adding up of the newly decolonized countries in these alliances india had neither a negative nor a passive policy towards it so what is the policy of retreat that is advocated by india during this period you can see here there are few bullet points in this first one the non alignment what is proposed by jawaharlal nehru as one of the founding members of nam reminded the world that the world was not a policy of retreat it is not a policy of retreat what is not a policy of retreat the non alignment is not a policy of retreat it was worth remembering that india chose to set include non aligned countries in this mission they decided to add all the countries with the similar ideology in this mission of staying away from the two superpower alliance groups throughout the cold war time that is from 1945 to 1990 india attempted to activate regional and international organizations that were not part of the united states and ussr led alliance nehru also believed that the creation of a true commonwealth free nations that is the commonwealth nations which were once ruled by the britishers later post world war 2 which countries became independent were creating a common wealth of nations that is for free and cooperating relationship between each other and also this move of staying away from the power blocks will definitely help to soften if not the end of the cold war they may not be able to end the cold war but definitely they can try to soften the tone of the cold war india attempted to reduce the tensions between the alliances in order to prevent them from escalating into a full fledged war india has put a serious efforts whenever there is a conflict they try to negotiate and try to prevent that from getting escalated into a full fledged war During the Korean War in the early 1950s, Indian diplomats and leaders 
were frequently used to communicate and mediate between cold war adversaries so india's policy was not a policy of retreat this was a stand taken by the jawaharlal nehru and the founding members of now now we learned that india has a special precaution that is india's response to the ongoing cold war was not to stay with any particular alliance at one level and as a founding member they want to stand by the promise of non alignment secondly they always spoke out criticized opposed the inclusion of newly decolonized countries in these alliances so what is india's interest in making such kind of steps one india has took certain international decisions india tried to maintain a counterbalance india was maintaining a stand that it will not be bullied by anybody and there are few criticisms what india has faced due to its non alignment policy let us see each one now what is the international decision that we are talking about as india being a non aligned nation that enabled india to make international decisions and take positions that benefited india rather than the superpowers and their allies whenever there is a conflict india did not get pressurized by the us bloc or the soviet bloc even though they tried to pressurize india but india always took a decision which was in favor of her national interest only that is the first benefit second one india was frequently able to counter balance counter the balance when there were there is a imbalance india was able to counter the balance between the two superpowers if india feels ignored or overly pressurized by one superpower it may shift its alliance to the other one it may shift its alliance to the other group or the other superpower now third important feature india could not be taken for granted or bullied by either of the alliance system either us bloc or the ussr bloc these are the benefits what india has gained by being a non aligned nation it took always in the favor of its own decision it never got pressurized or has to take something under the pressure by the superpowers it tried to maintain the counter balance of the two superpowers it could not be bullied or taken for granted by any of the alliance system these are the three benefits now india has also face certain criticisms of being a non aligned nation as we can see here one india is called as an unprincipled nation why is india called an unprincipled nation india's non alignment has been described as unprincipled india doesn't have principles india doesn't follow principles this is a comment which is made india it was claimed often refused to take a firm stance on critical international issues whenever they come up india used to avoid such kind of stance taking steps on the name of pursuing its national interest so india has been blamed for not taking any side whenever any international crisis comes and they used to call them as unprincipled because india always puts its national interest first for that matter any country puts their national interest only first second criticism what india has faced was india has been suggested that it is indecisive and it took opposing positions india cannot take a particular decision properly 
India has been criticized for taking opposite stands. India always keeps national interest because India is a third world nation. India is one of the least developed countries as per the terminology of the Western Bloc or the developed nations. So India has faced this criticism when India signed a 20 years treaty of friendship with the Soviet Union in August 1971 where it is said that it will not take any side of the alliance. How can then India sign a treaty of friendship? It is a kind of an alliance. That's what the criticism is being made. Now coming to the assistance, India stands that it required a military and diplomatic assistance during the Bangladesh crisis. Why did it take such kind of decision to make friendship with the Soviet Union? Maybe because India need a military and diplomatic assistance during the Bangladesh crisis. Because for India, it is very very important to fight its neighbors. So India faced few criticisms like unprincipled, indecisive and assistance required. India has taken its stand in the international decisions, maintained the counterbalance, was never been bullied but being criticized for its stance what it has taken. Stay tuned. We'll catch you in the next section.